So the first one is, the first one is when you're approached by your, um, your opponent and they don't have any grips. You want to avoid the grips. Okay, so when he starts to grab, you already shin circle like this. And we're doing that. You see how that can be annoying. And it's not just, I'm not just making pretty circles. I'm really trying to change levels like this. Look, look, at, my, look at my legs kind of splitting like this. Like this. So one high, one down. And, one, and then your dry needs to go outside and we're trying to break any beginner grips that he has. So, and my hips are moving as well. It's all about this. See how it's, it's awkward for you, isn't it, to grip? You haven't got like a secure grip. That's uh, the first part of the drill. The second part of the drill, when he has solid grips on you and this is not working, you have to grab back. They grab you, you grab back. And one at a time, we break a grip. Plant, make a root, break a grip, now you're in control, or a bit more of a control. So he grips, and you, you, this is gonna burn your fingers, so you can do this drill lightly by grabbing, pretending that he's a strong grip, but it's, a, it's a, a light grip just to save his fingers. Grab back, one at a time, bam. Bam, and then we're starting to do that again. So that's a two-part drill, I'll let you two work out in your own time what you do. So you two work together on that. And I'll work with Mihai on something else, yeah? Okay, one. Okay, so let's add some more tools to our armory so that we eventually have a guard that becomes, the idea is to become an unpassable guard. It's like you should take pride in having a guard that no one can pass, or it takes them such a great deal of effort to pass that they're at a great cost to them, like they're out of position or something. That's the aim. <clears throat> so, a couple of tools we can do. We stand there. One of the things that we do this is slowly, he's going to push, we want to, as he pushes my legs to one side, we want to avoid the situation where we're facing away. In the moment I'll show you the things that we can do, but this is not the ideal. If we can prevent this final stage, the better. So as he pushes away, I stop and I shrimp. I frame and I shrimp. So actually it would help if Mihai just walks around close to my head. There. I, st I stop frame, shrimp, and then this, the next stage is pummel, here. I want to get a foothold on something, arm, shoulder, leg, hip, tummy, whatever. This gives me the ability to reset, here. So you push me the other way, S stop, frame, shrimp by facing him, and it's the outside leg, pummels back in. Remember, it has to be over his arm and, and anything, usually his chest and top. This gives you the friction stability. And then, in theory, you could be able to regrip or sit up or do whatever. So we'll just do it from the side so you can see. <clears throat> Nothing. Stop. See how I use my leg to stop? This is not reaching out, guys. That's why I'm, I'm grabbing at nothing. I didn't want to overextend. With any of these regarding, you don't want to overextend your limbs. Everything is compact. So I'm here, shrimp and pummel. This is the outside leg goes in, find some sort of purchase on him. And generally, I would play guard from here. But just as it's a drill, we're resetting to neutral here. He would let go, and then he does the same thing. Uh, that's quite clear. I think we did a little bit of it on. Um, Monday. All right, so you guys happy with that? I'll do a little bit and then I'll sit over see you guys, okay? So let me high play with this, then I'll, instead of my turn, I'll watch you guys, all right? All right, one, two, three. <laughs> Give you something. Um, okay, I, I covered this on Monday, but I didn't really do a great job in explaining it, so I'm going to do hopefully a better job in explaining it. <clears throat> this time, Mihai pushes my legs over and he succeeds in pushing it all the way to one side. Okay? So in this case, I'm, I'm in trouble because as he pushes, he sees the back available. He runs around to the side and he takes control. This is bad for me. I want to avoid this, this position. So we're, good, we're freeze frame here. As soon as I'm here, one of the things we can do that's very effective is to raise my hips up and take my legs out and catch, catch him within my legs here. Once he's here, then I reframe where I want to be, which is my feet aiming at his chest here. Okay, so I'll do that again. We start off in this position. As I'm here, because I can't move my legs, I can move my hips. 
And I want to move my hips enough that my knees point down to the ground. And regardless of whether he's gripping or not, generally he won't grip, but if he, even if he's still gripping, doesn't matter. It won't stop me from taking this outside leg, circling around to catch him, bringing it in, and then I can play guard. Now, let me give you a tip for this maneuver again. It's not enough just to go here. You have to tuck your head to your knees here. And this allows you to what we call half Granby. Check out Granby roll if you don't know what it is. But the Granby roll is basically you're on your shoulder line here, doing this maneuver here. We're doing a half Granby because I'm not going for the full roll. So we can do it that side, you can push me that side here. I tuck my head, I bring my leg around and catch, catch him within my legs like a claw. Then I bring it in because this is not great it's okay as a stalling position, but eventually he'll pass this. I want to bring my feet here, re-grip, and start playing what I want to do, which was from here. So the whole thing again, push that side, here, catch, grab. Got the idea? I'll talk you through it. I'm gonna let Mihai play with it a couple of rounds, and then I'll come around and have a look, okay? One, two, three. Same with this one. Okay, we call this grilled chicken. I'll show it to you from this angle. Grilled chicken is, now so far I've been doing, uh, I haven't been describing what I'm doing in my guard. All I've been saying is get my feet in front. But what I want you to now focus on is be a little more specific about how we play this. It, this doesn't matter what kind of guard you use. I never want, if you let go, I never want to extend my limbs out too much. Because it's very easy for him to manipulate me. Whereas here, it's harder for him to manipulate me. Now sometimes you'll find there are guards where you do extend one leg but the other leg is cocked and ready and loaded. And the same on the other side. If you think about butterfly guard, it's very, very compact. Closed guard is very compact. You know, even lasso guard, we do, lasso guard is this, which is a favorite of mine. I keep it very compact, you know, very compact like this. So the aim with uh, grilled chicken is, is simply to keep those the soles of your feet facing your opponent I'm not extending my feet out, I'm bringing it in. My knees are bringing it in, and I'm placing my hands here. Okay, so if Mihai pushes me um, that way, I block. This stops me falling completely. Remember, I don't want to be in this position. So we can, this is the first part of your drill. He pushes me one side, he pushes me the other. Okay. Now, the problem is, when he pushes, it's just enough for him to run around this side. So I must use this hand, wherever is the nearest part of his body, to remember the same as the first drill here but I don't put my foot on the ground this time I just use this here and now I use his leg my hand pushed go back into neutral he pushes me the other way block he runs around pants this is the handy one to bring my feet round so the previous one I had to stop and shrimp there were a lot of steps to it this one is much simpler Keep running see he hasn't passed I mean, I'm not in any danger until he starts coming close and then we can do it here, here, here and you have to push as well to make it, you see, because I do not want to be in this flattened position. It's a simple one, it's, it's, uh, I didn't want to start with it because I want you to get the movement straight away but basically for me that's my favourite one, grilled chicken. Want to give it a go? Okay, one, two, three, let's go. Alright, so carrying on the the idea. <clears throat> this time Mihai pushes me that side and I don't have time to do my previous ones. I'm in a position where I think by the time I re retain guard I'm gonna be in trouble and this is you have to make that judgment call and it only comes with experience on the mat or sometimes people just want to do it and we're going to go into running man. Running man is I'm actually really committing to this sideways position here okay and we can we can defend quite well from here quite a lot it's quite stable although it looks like he's on top of me it's quite stable and at some point he's going to maybe give up or take a little weight off the moment he takes a little weight off my top half my head i will bring my head to my knees and regard so it's very similar to the what we call the half granbury, half gram B, 
that I mentioned where I have to be if you, if I don't, if you stay where you are, where I'm on my high, high, high line of my shoulder. But this time I'm starting from this position here. And then because he's kind of over there, I know that I need to catch him with my leg. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring my head to my leg here, which allows me to rest on my shoulder line, open my legs and catch him. And then I can regard. So there's two aspects to this. It's the running man itself, where if, if uh, Mihai, if you don't mind pushing me again, I'm doing best. Uh oh, and I'm running man, I can hold it for as long as I feel safe. And the key to these positions is you must not let any space underneath your elbow. It must be very tight. And if he comes reaching around for your collar, you're fending off, but without releasing the elbow at all. They're glued to me. And at the moment where you feel safe, that he takes a little weight off, I bring my head to my, I bring my head to my leg here, open my leg out, and I re-guard, and I start playing where I was before. I hope that makes sense. It's kind of a mishmash of the previous ones we've done, but it just opens the door to a different kind of tactic that you might want to use. So running man, a bit of an inversion, capturing him in guard again. Want to try that? Okay, one, two, three. Okay.